First up, we got up very early to check out the EAU consensus highlight and game-changing session. Let's take a quick look. ADT is still a major and a key player in androgen-sensitive prostate cancer. Combining ADT with external beam, probably we should reconsider in many situations the dogma of th three years of castration and probably for high-risk, not locally advanced disease, 18 months might be enough. But as long as this is not published, it's impossible to consider this as level one evidence. Combining ADT with salvage external beam radiotherapy, it's still debatable. There is a progression-free survival benefit, and for some patients, there seems to be an overall survival benefit with an unusual use of bigalutamide. Alone at systemic relapse, still an open question. There is a trend suggesting a benefit, but it's just a trend, so it's not level one evidence. And I'm afraid we will never have a level one evidence for that. And finally, as you all know, in M1 disease, we had a revolution several years ago that's still ongoing, clearly pointing in the direction that the lower the testosterone in the cell, the better the outcome. Thank you very much.